Hello YouTube! Today I wanted to sit down and talk about something that's really relevant to me and to my little theatre community at the moment. Last week it was announced the prices for Elf the Musical at the Dominion Theatre this Christmas and they are ridiculous. They are so expensive. I don't understand how families are going to be able to afford to go and see it to be honest. One question I get asked a lot is how I manage to afford to go to the theatre as much as I do and how my friends and I all manage to go as often as we do. A lot of people think that it's a very expensive hobby to have. Yes, they're right. We find our own ways to make the tickets that we buy the cheapest as possible. I wanted to talk about four of the ways that I personally find the cheapest or the best tickets uh, or the like most value for money. Number one would have to be day seating. Day seating, for those of you who don't know, is where you go to the theatre the day that you want to see a show, queue up early in the morning before the box office opens and then generally you get the kind of the best available tickets at a very cheap price. For most theatres it's the front row, some others vary, they're like the best available nearest to the front row or in the stalls, some of them that are ridiculously cheap such as Matilda are all the way up in the upper circle. So if you're thinking of day seating a show, first of all I would advise you to check the Theatre Monkey website, I'll leave links to everything down below so you don't need to worry whilst you're watching the video to check any of those just yet. If you look on Theatre Monkey they have a section about day seats and about which theatres do day seats so you're not queuing up at a theatre where they don't do day seats and as well generally um, how much they are, whereabouts they're situated and then also it offers um, comments from other people that have day seated and have sent their um, advice into the site and it says what time they got there, how many people were there, how busy it was and all of that in general. Another site to check would be the seat plan site. I'm going to talk about seat plan a lot more later on in this video so I won't say too much there. If you check there you'll be able to see where people have got their day seat tickets as well. Now I'm saying that day seating is one of the most guaranteed ways to get cheap seats purely because you decide how early you want to get to the theatre. I know some people that day sat for Kinky Boots first preview last week and they queued since four o'clock in the morning. So they knew that they were gonna be like one of the first people there. I think the next people after that were there at like seven o'clock in the morning. Generally box offices open at 10 o'clock, so seven to eight o'clock, it's probably a good time to get the, to the theater. And then you only have to wait a couple of hours until the box office opens. It's only for special occasions that you'd need to go any earlier than that really. Beware as well that day seats aren't unlimited. Most of the time you can only buy two per person so if there's say three of you in a group and only one of you is day seating you're gonna have to get someone else to day seat with you otherwise you're not gonna have enough tickets. Some theatres as well are stricter on their day seating policies. For example, Matilda, you can only get a day seat if you're between the ages of 16 to 25 and they will ask for ID when you go to the box office. With Matilda, the tickets are £5 and you're in the upper circle and for me, I thought the view was incredible considering it's only £5. I think Miss Saigon is probably the strictest of all the day seating policies that I know of, unless it's changed since I last day sat, but they don't give you the tickets until half an hour or 45 minutes before the performance. They give you like a slip to then give back to the box office before the show to actually pick up your ticket and that is to stop people from reselling their tickets. One thing to note with day seating is that there are periods of time where the queues will be a lot busier. For example, on a Saturday where people can get to London a bit easier, the school holidays, bank holidays and things like that. If you are planning to day seat, just be wary of all these other circumstances. As well, make sure you check the um, London travel beforehand. Sometimes there's um, disruptions from engineering and things like that. So yes, if you are going to day seat, just make sure that you've checked everything beforehand, check all the travel, that nothing's gonna be delayed or disrupted to stress you out because that is too early in the morning to be stressing out. All day seats vary in price. Generally, they'll be under 30 pounds. It's better to have cash ready on you um, just to make the transaction at the box office a lot quicker, a lot smoother. Sometimes the queues are really big, so you just wanna be like in and out as soon as possible and then like go get breakfast, go chill out or whatever. I'll put a list of theatres slash shows that offer day seats just here for you to see and there'll be some more information in the description box as well. The next option for cheap tickets would be doing the lottery. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's only two shows in the West End currently that are doing a lottery for tickets. It's very popular on Broadway. I think most of the shows on Broadway do lotteries. It hasn't quite come over to the West End just yet. The first one was the Book of Mormon. It slips for the lottery are handed out two and a half hours before the show. 
You need to fill in your name, how many tickets you'd like. Again, that's a maximum of two per person. And then give it back to the lottery guy, pop it in the tombola and wait until it's two hours before the show. So either 12.30 or 5.30, unless the show times change. From there, the lottery guy starts the lottery process and he'll pull out slips of names. For those tickets, they are the front row at the Book of Mormon for £20 each. As with Miss Saigon, you'll be asked to produce ID once you go in to claim your tickets. They definitely prefer cash. It's a very quick process with the lottery. I'd say it's normally done in between... 10 to 15 minutes and everyone's got their tickets that have won. If you don't win in the lottery, then you can always jump into the returns queue and try your luck there to see if there are any returns or any discounted tickets. But the Book of Mormon aren't known for discounting their tickets. Just like with day seating, you've got to know when the busiest points are gonna be. So school holidays, summer holidays, bank holidays, and as well, Saturdays will be busier. Most of the time I hear people have the best luck on Wednesday matinees. So if you're able to go to a Wednesday matinee and lottery for that, definitely try that out. The only other show that I know of that's doing a lottery currently in the West End is Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots are doing their lottery in collaboration with Today Ticks, which is an app that you can download for your iPhone, iPad, I'm not sure if it's on Android, I'll check that out and put it like here. So with the Kinky Boots Lottery, you can enter from any point after midnight on the day of the show that you'd like to see or you'd like to try and see anyway. Three to four hours before the show, they will notify winners. You just need to go onto the app, press a few buttons and you are done. I will show that here as a demonstration. These tickets are £15 per person and they are on the front row at the Adelphi Theatre. Where else would they be? <laughs> If there's a show that you'd like to see and it's only just opened in the West End, try and go in previews time because then generally tickets will be a little bit cheaper. Sometimes they get hyped up after the show is officially opened and when it's been reviewed and when more people know about it, just because obviously then they can get more money from the tickets. If you can, try and go in the previews and you might find some better deals then. Another general thing I tend to do is I'll ask at say like Christmas time and around my birthday, if people don't know what to get me, I will ask for theatre tokens. Theatre tokens are a really great way to just bring down the ticket price a little bit. You can get them uh, from like, 10 to 50 pounds worth I think. Say a few people don't know what to get you and they get you a 10 pound voucher each, that's 30 pounds. That could be a complete ticket or 30 pounds off say a premium ticket and it just helps the trip be a little bit cheaper. So earlier I mentioned about Seat Plan. I absolutely love Seat Plan. It's such a fun website to use. I will show here a little like video of it. <laughs> you don't even need to sign up. If you just want to browse on seat plan, you'll see interactive seating plans of all the West End theatres. From here, you can click on the seats that are green and they've been reviewed. You can see what other people have thought about the seats. Now, these are completely 100% honest, the everyday theatre goer. There's a lot of people that I know on there, so it's really nice to see what shows they've been to, what seats they've liked more than others. You can upload a photo of the view from the seat and also of the ticket. This is great as well because apart from seat plan, there's not really any other site specifically where you can see the view from your seat. If you know specifically a seat that you'd like to book, you can go on there, see if someone's reviewed that seat, in which case they'll generally have a photo of it as well, so you know in advance what view you're going to be getting. This is especially prevalent when it's a restricted view seat. If you're a bit worried about it, a lot of people on there will say, it's fine, it's not really restricted at all unless you're really, really fussy. That's another thing as well, actually. If you look for the restricted view seats, they're generally going to be a little bit cheaper. So not only can you find out other people's opinions on seat plan, you can actually earn theatre vouchers. If you yourself go to the theatre a lot anyway, if you have photos of the ticket of the show that you've been to and a photo of the view, you can write reviews about the seats and then earn vouchers. I'll show a little clip here of my um, seat plan page. <laughs> and you can see here where I filled in lots of shows that I've been to, the seats, and given a rating of the comfort, legroom, and the view. From adding reviews alone, I think I've managed to earn about 50 pounds worth of theatre vouchers. I mean, how crazy is that? Just because I've written a bit on the internet about what I think of this seat and this theatre and, and what have you, that's 50 pounds worth that I'm gonna be able to use towards going to the theatre again. It's brilliant. <laughs> seat plans, 100% free to use. There's no catch whatsoever. I haven't used my vouchers yet. I am very much a saver at the moment. When I do end up using them, I'll be sure to let you know. If you are a student or if you have a 16 to 25 rail card, make sure you always have that with you because you'd be surprised at where you can get discounts. A lot of theatres that I've been to will offer a discount if you're a student. When I used to see Wicked a lot, 
a lot. I used to use my rail card to get discounts. I could ask for best available and if it was last minute enough, they would discount that to £27.50. I believe that's now gone up to £29.50, but considering sometimes I'd get £70 tickets for half the price, I wasn't complaining. I know this is definitely true for a few other theatres, but it's always worth asking what discount you can get just because you're a student. So these are just a few of the ways that I myself manage to get to the theatre so often and how I make it a little bit more affordable. Going to the theatre is not the cheapest hobby, but it's one that I really love and I really love chatting about it. Any more questions that you have about day seating, about seat plan, about any of the things that I've mentioned in this video, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to have a chat with you about it. I definitely want to make more videos like this in the future, so let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to chat about and you'll see me soon. Bye!